Good morning, everybody. It is Thursday and not time for one of our normal check ins, but uh, we're going to do one anyways because there was some news released last night and I uh, wanted to go ahead and discuss that with you guys. Um, if anybody hasn't seen the tweets or the forum messages yet, uh, you'll see a lot of news stories right now circulating that Steam is adding native support for the DualShock 4. Not quite. Um, just like the case was with the uh, Sony DualShock 4 dongle, um, a lot of people aren't reading beyond the surface and kind of misinterpreting the facts, or at least the facts that we have in hand as of, the, as of this morning. Um, what this is all stemming from was Sony's recent developer conference uh, where they announced that a new feature is coming in their Steam API to support other controllers. Um, the first controller of which being the Sony DualShock 4. And uh, they say during their conference that uh, the features are coming uh, is support for the DualShock 4 in the Steam controller API. Um, and they also, you know, they go on to say that, believe it or not, uh, when you use the Play, uh, PlayStation 4 controller through the Steam API, it's exactly the same as a Steam controller. Uh, you make the same API calls, you only get actions, not inputs, and the Steam API takes care of everything. Well, that's confusing to a lot of people because the controllers actually are nothing alike. Um other than some of the functionality and features they offer. Um, Hardware-wise, they're nothing alike. Uh, Hardware-wise, the calls to them are quite different. Uh, the HID packets are quite different. Interpreting them are quite different. Um, in many ways, the Steam controller is actually much more complex because of the, uh, the haptic feedback and the dual track pads and all that stuff. And the the additional analog grip control, stuff like that. So they're, they actually are nothing alike from a developer standpoint, but um, that doesn't actually matter when it comes to the Steam API uh, because the way the Steam API works is you don't communicate with the controller at all. Um, and so, I mean, what, what they're saying is uh, that you're gonna communicate the game is going to get all of its uh, control inputs from the Steam API. And the way that this compatibility comes in, the reason why you're making the same calls to the API is because Steam is putting forward the idea where they want you to uh, get, like, get the control inputs um, by querying actions rather than keys on a, on a controller. And it's actually a fantastic idea. Um, I hope this takes off because uh, this would open a lot up to uh, gamers being able to, you know, uh, add more compatibility, control compatibility. Um, you wouldn't have the issue where your bindings are all wonky across different games uh, when you're using different controllers, all that nonsense. Um, it's great because the game will query the API um, instead of wanting to know if the A button, is, A button is pressed, it'll ask if the jump button is pressed. And because you're asking for an action instead of an input, uh, you, you, the, that opens up the Steam API to allow you to bind anything to that input from the Steam API. So it could be the A button on the dual... It could be the A button on the Steam controller. It could be the A button on the 360 controller. It could be the cross button on the DualShock 4. Uh, the game doesn't care because that interpretation is going to be handled by the API. Uh, but what this means is the game must use the Steam API in order to utilize um, being able to grab, you know, all these controllers with, uh, without singling one out or caring uh, what input the controller comes from, or what controller the input comes from, rather. Um, and the hardest thing is that, you know, these developers are going to have to make the changes in their code. It's not something that's going to come along automatically. Um, they need to under, they need to design their game to communicate indirectly 
and uh, to redesign the inputs to, you know, query for these actions rather than, you know, key inputs. Um, and this is also the, the Steam API is going to want to take, uh, you know, your keyboard and mouse as inputs as well. So they're going to have to, you know, uh, drop their native, the games are going to have to drop their native support for keyboard and mouse, um, at least in order to be, you know, fully API, uh, you know, compliant, uh, fully controller compatible. Um, and it's right now, uh, there's limited support, uh, in games that actually use the API. Um, I know there's a lot of games that, you know, the Steam Controller works with, but that's different than them using the API because the Steam Controller has a couple fallbacks. Um, if the game doesn't use the Steam API, the controller can fall back to X input. Um... If the, con if the game doesn't use X input, it can further fall back to keyboard and mouse. Uh, kind of the same thing the Input Mapper does. But uh, these fallbacks are not part of the Steam API. That's just a big picture, uh, big picture mode, um, Steam client kind of a thing that they worked in there to kind of expand the compatibility of the control, the controller, the Steam controller, uh, because as you know, as it stands, the Steam controller itself is not widely supported. Um, it is picking up some traction. They have sold like half a million units. So it is starting to, you know, raise some eyebrows and get some native support. Um, but nothing near wide enough where people are dropping their Xbox controllers and moving over to this thing. Um, of course, as part of the uh, demonstration, the Valve did uh, uh, Steam. Um, Doom was uh, one of the ones that they showed off, and the, obviously because, you know, it's a Valve game developed in-house. Uh, so yeah, they had Steam Controller right out the bat, therefore uh, the DualShock 4, um, you know, worked because, you know, they're using the Steam API. They're not just, you know, using the Steam Controller via X input. So that worked. Um, but unfortunately... Like I said, games that don't use the Steam API, Steam games that are just, you know, still using their X input. Um, I don't, nothing in anything released says that this is going to work. Everything that they've released says that the DualShock 4 is going to be supported in the API. Not in Steam, in the API. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and I see this as, you know, probably a way to... Uh, kind of make the API a little bit more appetizing, trying to get people to bite on it a little bit easier. Um, you know, you got 500,000 uh, Steam controllers sold. Um, there's, you know, probably at least an equal amount of DualShock 4s floating around there um, in the PC gaming community. So, you know, that's, you know, you get 100 plus controllers uh, and this API starts to become, you know, more enticing to developers. Uh, because you got a larger user group. Um, the the other side of that, you know, mixed bag is there's always a, a yang to the ying. Um, when you develop an application and you use their API, you're pretty much, you know, letting go of the steering wheel. You're losing control um, over a lot of the things that you might like uh, about your direct communication. Uh, with controllers, um, I, you know, to be honest, I, I think that's an archaic way for game developers to think. Um, I like this API in the direction it's going, but uh, there's definitely going to be developers that are going to drag their heels. Um, they're not going to want to give up their, their X input API. They're not going to want to give up their uh, Slim DX API. Um, you know, and the other APIs that exist, you know, that, you know, support the controllers directly. Um, the other thing is, I've looked around, and I have not yet been able to confirm, um, but I suppose that it's grouped into that uh, other controllers are coming uh, comment that they made. I haven't found any confirmation that the X input controllers, i.e. a 360 controller, is compatible with the Steam API yet, and I'm assuming that's because it's a licensing issue. They might still be working something out with Microsoft, and uh, 
excuse me, oh, Microsoft might be dragging their heels on that because they've been trying to pull the X input API into uh, UWP, the, the universal Windows platform, um, so they can, you know, share games between computers and Xbox console, yada, yada. But uh, they've been trying to pull X input into that um, so they can hopefully, you know, maybe five years down the road, um, depreciate X input as a standalone API. Uh, so I, it's in gamers best interests. If this is, uh, if Microsoft is dragging their heels on that, that Microsoft, you know, stop and not stop the deal, but, you know, allow steam to have access to this API because, um, like I said, I actually really like the way they're going here. Uh, with being able to, you know, open up games to pretty much all controllers that the API supports. Um, but in the end, um, you know, there's a lot of developers are uh, set in their ways and they don't want to, um, you know, release something that they know is going to work right now and for the foreseeable future, uh, i.e. these uh, direct controller APIs. Um, so they, they might be hesitant to do it, but, uh, I don't know. It's, it's certainly interesting. It's worth following. Um, I'm going to be keeping an eye on it because it looks like, you know, if it does start to, uh, mature more and, uh, come of age, that it'll probably be something pretty fun to play with. Uh, the API is, you know, they developed it. Uh, looking at the tech technical documentation of it, they actually did a you know pretty solid job of developing it and making it uh, future proof. So, um, but yeah, I just wanted to kind of you know chit chat with you guys and uh, interpret all the uh, jargon and everything that I've read over the last 24 hours and kind of give it to you in you know real world. What does it mean to us gamers? Uh, kind of sense not only what does it mean to input mapper but you know what does it mean to um, you know person sitting down playing a game with a controller so um, that'll do it uh, I'll let you guys know if I read any more I'm sure you know there's gonna be some follow-up stories coming out this is this is all stuff that just started coming out yesterday so um, as it comes out and as I read it I'll let you guys know have a good one